this is an Asiatic lily that is a beautiful perennial that you can add to your garden. And it's very easy to care for. It comes in a variety of different colors. Um, I always buy them after Mother's Day because that's typically when they um, are done blooming a little bit after that. Um, these were just the colors they had available, but they do have others. I wanted to just tell you that there is another variety of lilies um, that looks very similar to this and it's called the Oriental um, lily, but I want to go over some key differences. So the Asiatic lilies that I have here, um, it usually blooms earlier, like I said, around Mother's Day. Um, it's almost on target for Mother's Day, and I usually always will um, get great sales afterwards. These were actually a sale after Mother's Day. They're a little bit easier to grow than the Oriental uh, lilies, and they're also shorter than the Oriental lilies. Um, they typically are going to have a single color as you see here, so there's not much variation at all on the flower, and there's not much smell at all, whereas the Oriental lilies, they're going to have a lot more of a fragrance. So to talk a little bit more about the Oriental, they, Oriental lilies, they bloom later in the year, like in the summer and the fall, and they usually have a wider variety of colors on the actual flower itself. Some that can, sometimes it can have two to three different colors. Um, they're also taller. They can grow two to eight feet. And um, they also have a, a more of a fragrance than the Asiatic lilies do. Well, I hopefully, hopefully this video helps uh, knowing the difference between the two. And I think they're beautiful, both of them. Uh, definitely go pick some up around this time if you haven't already.